Whether you are new or experienced in the points and miles world, I bet you would agree with me that finding well-priced award flights is the hardest piece of the puzzle. Thankfully, there are a number of tools that make this job much easier. One tool that I find particularly helpful is Seats.Aero. As a side note, this video is not sponsored by Seats.Aero. I'm just a subscriber who uses and actually really likes the search tool. If you'd like to try searching for Saver Award flights on Seats.Aero, then stick with me because I'll walk you through the process step by step and teach you everything you need to know. If you like content like this, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Before we start searching for Saver Award flights on Seats.Aero, let's start with a couple of logistics. First, one of the things I really like about Seats.Aero is that there is a free version. If you're often searching for near-term availability, the free version will let you search out as far as 60 days. I love free versions because it gives you a chance to learn how it works and see if you like it. If you prefer to search further out or if you want to take advantage of any of their advanced features, like choosing the cabin class or setting alerts for a range of dates, you can subscribe for $9.99 a month with no long-term obligation. In fact, if you are looking for availability for a specific flight or you want to try out some of Seats.Aero's more advanced features, you can subscribe for one month and then cancel at the end of the month. Then if you need to search again later, you can always subscribe again. If you want to try the paid version, I'll put my referral link in the description below. And using that link is an easy way to help my channel, so thanks. A second thing I like about Seats.Aero is the ability to search for many airports at once. We'll look at this in more detail when we start searching, but basically you can search for all the major European airports at once, or all the major US airports, or all the airports in California, and so on. It's a simple way to expand your search and find the best deals. One last thing I want to point out before we start is that when results pop up, Seats.Aero uses green to indicate non-stop saver award availability and blue to indicate a multi-segment flight. Now that we have the basics out of the way, let's see this in action. Starting at the far left is the Explore function. When you click on the Explore option, you'll see a list of all the loyalty programs you can search for award availability. They offer 16 options at this point in time. And to the right of each program name, you'll also see each program's transferable rewards partners. The Explore option is especially helpful if you have a lot of miles with one particular loyalty program, or if you need to use a specific type of transferable points. If you want to see where your miles can take you, select Explore, then choose the loyalty program you're interested in. It's worth noting that when you click on a particular loyalty program, Seats.Aero isn't just showing you flights on that particular airline. Rather, the search results will include flights on any of their partner airlines as well. So for example, American Airlines is part of the One World Alliance. So Seats.Aero will show you award availability on any of the One World carriers because they're all bookable through the AA site. Let's see how this works. Select Explore, then select American Airlines from the list. It will bring you to a page with all the flights you can book through the American Airlines site. There are so many results though, so it's more helpful if we can filter the results a bit. Let's narrow our search. Show flights from North America to Europe. When I scroll down, I still see 233 pages of results. So let's use the search bar to narrow things down even more. Let's say I'm only interested in flights leaving from New York's JFK airport. Now it's only showing me flights leaving from JFK. Let's narrow it more. Say I want to travel in July of this year, 2024-07. As a side note, I can put a specific date here, or I can put a whole year, or I can put a month like I did. Here are all the July 2024 flights from JFK to Europe. But let's narrow it down even more. Let's say I'm interested in going to Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport. Now it gives me all the July flights between JFK and Charles de Gaulle that can be booked through the American Airlines website. Now let's find a good business class flight. By clicking on any of the column headings, you can organize results by that column. Results happen to already be organized that way this time, so you'll see when I click that it puts it in the opposite order. 
So let's click again so it goes back to listing business class availability with the lowest point flights first. Let's pick one. Remember, green are direct saver award flights and blue are multi-segment saver award flights. Here's a nonstop flight on July 18th for 62,000 miles. I select it by clicking the information button and then go to the business class tab. I see the direct flight on American Airlines for 62,000 miles and $5.60. Scroll down and select book via American Airlines. And we're taken directly to the flight we want right on the American Airlines website. There it is, 62,000 miles plus $5.60 in taxes and fees. And it works the same for any of the programs in the list. Select the loyalty program you're interested in and follow the same steps. You find the flight you want on seats.aero, use the link to go straight to that flight on the airline website. Once you confirm the flight is still available, you can transfer your flexible rewards points and purchase your flight. The Explore option we just looked at is great, especially when you need to use miles from a specific loyalty program. But if you have a specific flight you're looking for, or you don't want to be limited to a particular loyalty program, then the search function might be more suitable. The search function looks for save reward space in all of the loyalty programs at once, according to the parameters that you provide. If you click on search, it brings you to a page where you can input your origin, destination, and date. Very similar to searching for a flight on a regular airline website or a travel portal. It also gives you the option to build in some flexibility by expanding your search in a couple of different ways. First, remember when I mentioned multi-airport codes? If you click here, seats.arrow will show you a list of all the options. By using a multi-airport code, you can find the best deal within the whole region rather than searching airport by airport. Another way that Seats.Arrow builds in flexibility is by allowing you to expand your search to plus or minus a certain number of days from your desired date. For the free version, this includes 1, 3, and 7, which is fairly generous. And the paid version also offers options of 14, 28, 60, and 180. Other options you get with the paid version are limiting your results to nonstop flights only, placing a limitation on the amount of taxes and fees you're willing to spend, specifying how many seats you need. The basic version just looks for award availability for one, specifying which carriers you want to include or exclude, filtering the results to a specific cabin. Let's try a search, and so you can see how the free version works. I won't log in. Let's choose Newark as our origin and Zurich as our destination. For the date, we're limited to 60 days, so let's pick July 9th as the date. And we'll search for three days on either side of that date. There are actually a lot of results, both direct, green, and indirect, blue. Let's see what happens if we narrow the date window to plus or minus one. Still a decent number of results, including three direct flights. Let's pick the one requiring the fewest points. Click on the I for information, then the business class tab, and there's the direct flight for 60,000 points. I go down to my booking options and select book via Air Canada Aeroplan. It plugs us right into the Air Canada Aeroplan results, and there's the flight. New York to Zurich nonstop for 60,000 miles plus 78 Canadian dollars in taxes and fees. It's worth noting that you should always take this step before transferring points to make sure that the flight is still available because Seats.Arrow tracks these flights over time and a flight showing is available may have already been purchased. If we look at the results again, the second column shows when Seats.Arrow last saw the space. If you have the paid version, they also provide live results if there are any. But for the flight we selected in the free version, the availability was last seen two hours ago. The 78,000 mile flight was also seen two hours ago. And the United 88,000 mile flight was from 19 hours ago. So always take this step before transferring points. Another seats.arrow option allows you to look at the statistics for every route that they currently track. From the home page, click on the option that says routes. You'll see all the loyalty programs again, and you select the one you're interested in. I'll select Delta Sky Miles. It takes you to a page with every route Seats.Arrow currently tracks in the Delta Sky Miles loyalty program. 
Again, this is not limited to flights only on Delta. It includes Delta's partner airlines as well. To check the specific route you're interested in, enter the airports in the search field. It's worth noting that if the airports you enter aren't currently tracked, you can request that Seeds.Arrow start tracking that route as long as you're a paid subscriber. But let's pick a route that Seeds.Arrow already tracks. I'll enter Los Angeles LAX and Haneda Airport in Tokyo. You can then see options of both Haneda to LAX and LAX to Haneda. What I find most useful is this data option. If you click it, you're brought to a page that provides statistics on the route you're interested in. The statistics show total seats available by day, broken down by class of service, and the average points cost by day, again, broken down by class of service. This can give you a good feel for your odds of finding a good award flight for your route through that specific loyalty program, in this case, Delta. You can also choose to find availability, but I think booking through one of the other options we've discussed is a better option. Seats.Aero has another option called Tools that gives you the ability to search for some of the more popular bucket list flight experiences like Qatar Q Suites and ANA First Class. I recently did videos on both of these sweet spots, so if you're interested, I'll put the links in the description below. But for now, let's look at how you can use Seats.Aero to help. Click on Tools up at the top and all your options will pop up. I'm going to select Qatar Suites Finder. To improve my chances of finding availability, I'm going to keep my search broad and look at all flights from North America to Asia. Quite a lot of availability pops up, and the mileage required is really reasonable. You could always use the search bar to narrow things down like we did before. But for now, let's just select the second one down, Boston to Doha on June 21st. I click on the I for information, then select the Business Class tab and book via Virgin Australia Velocity. It brings me right to the page where I can book it. Here it is, a non-stop flight from Boston to Doha on June 21st for 92,000 points plus $365.30 in taxes and fees. What can you do if the award flight you're looking at doesn't have any availability? Well, when that happens, you can ask Seats.Arrow to set an alert and notify you when a seat on that flight becomes available. To create an alert, click on Create Alerts up at the top. Then select for specific routes and dates. You'll then be taken to a page that asks you to create the alert by filling out an online form. You'll provide your contact information, which must be email for free users, but can include texts if you're a subscriber. I always do texts because they're quicker the mileage program you wish to use, the departure airport, the arrival airport, and the specific departure date you're looking at. Remember, if you're not a paid subscriber, you're limited to the next 60 days. Pro subscribers don't have this restriction, and they can also select a range of dates for alerts or even select the any date option. Then you can choose your preferred cabin. If you're a paid subscriber, you'll also be given a number of other helpful filters such as minimum number of seats, maximum cost in points, maximum cost in taxes and fees, maximum number of stops, etc. And that's it. You'll agree to the terms and then click on Create Alert. And if your desired flight becomes available, Seats.Arrow will send you an alert. A final option you might want to know about is Seats.Arrow's partner program, Rooms.Arrow, aimed at helping you book award stays at hotels. If you click on Hotels up at the top, it brings you right to Rooms.Arrow, which looks a lot like Seats.Arrow. From this site, you can explore by Hotel Loyalty Program, do a straightforward search for a specific stay, and even set alerts for availability at hard-to-book properties. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in a separate video showing you exactly how Rooms.Arrow works. I hope you found this video to be useful and that you feel more prepared and more confident to tackle your next search for an award flight. Comment below if you have any questions and if you already use Seats.Aero, let me know if there are specific features you like or dislike. Also, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to see more travel content like this. It really does help the channel. Until next time, happy travels.